So with our new model of arts integration, we are hoping to bring all elements of art and art experiences to our students um, on a regular basis. Dance is the one area that we don't have enough of in our community. So we're pretty solid with visual art, we're getting better with music, um, but dance is that element that our students are really seeking and then being able to express themselves with movement. We know, research says, is gonna improve their brain function and student achievement. Don't really have that opportunity to be in any kind of dance, so to see them kind of step out into something they're not always comfortable with has been really inspiring over the years. You have those certain kids who are like, oh man, how are they going to handle this? And then they just jump right into it and love it and it's amazing to see. Having Cleo here, it makes me feel happy and I go home, me and my brother tell each other which dances we did every day. I like having you guys here. Well, for starters, the students get very excited uh, when the dancers from Cleo Parker Robinson come to the school. Um, it's a great opportunity for them to work with professional dancers and uh, go through that whole process of, you know, either uh, creating a dance, uh, you know, learning choreography for something that's already been established, and getting the opportunity. And we say perform it, right? But to get the chance to share with their classmates or their school and their parents. Um, on that last day. I've learned that even if it's like hard, you still have to try and even if it's like silly, you still have to like work hard and like try it. Uh, the quality of instruction that I see every single year when these dancers come to work with my students is second to none. I, I watch dance companies and um, educational outreach organizations and arts funding and granting organizations really wrestle with this question of how do we deliver a high quality product within a short brief amount of time that a residency usually happens. And what I've noticed is that the dancers from Cleo's, they come in prepared, they come in with an understanding of classroom management, they know what it actually means to be a teacher and a dancer. Oh wow, well they definitely gain confidence because when they first came in, they were very timid and very shy. But once I kind of brought that energy, like, hey, just come in here and learn. If you don't know something, you're gonna learn something today. And so that's what they um, actually kind of gained, that confidence in themselves to just push through. If something was hard, if something was difficult, they just um, forgot about it and just actually just had fun. I like this program because um, we get to explore different genres of dance without actually having to do um, these long-term classes and we can find out what we like to do. In my opinion, after the testing, like, I, I'm energized, so I mostly like to, like, get my wiggles out. All right, we're so excited about the 10th anniversary of Dancing with the Denver Stars. I can't even believe it. Um, everyone knows that it supports our education programs, but I think even more, the community that this event has created is extraordinary. We've been able to grow those education programs in extraordinary ways. We we're able to increase the, the, the depth of the work that we're doing with our community partners. And this is throughout the seven counties of Denver, Colorado. You can't stop the beat.